Question 8. In the diagram below, APB is a tangent to the curve of this y equals to 4 minus x squared. If A is a value of x at the point P, find the equation of the tangent in terms of A. If L is the area of triangle AOB, find the value of A when this area is minimum. Then find the minimum area of this L. So first, our task, we need to find out what is the equation tangent in term of A. So the point, the tangent touch our curve here at point A. X coordinate X is point A. So we have to find out this tangent equation for this A, P, B. So first, from our curve, y equals to y, 4 minus x squared. We will go into differentiate y with respect to x. Here we will get negative 2x. So dy dx is a gradient of tangent. So gradient of tangent, the point occurring here is x equals to a. So our gradient of tangent is negative 2x. So when our x coordinate is a, it will equal to negative 2a. Then after we after we get our x coordinate a, we find out our y coordinate. So when x coordinate is a, our y coordinate will be 4 minus a squared. So this is our point. In order to find out the equation of the tangent, we need the gradient of the tangent and we need a point here. So gradient of the tangent we already obtained and then the point also we obtained already. Therefore, we're going to build out our equation of tangent which is equals to y minus y1 equals to gradient x minus x1. So our coordinate for this tangent, it will be 4 minus a squared. Gradient of this tangent is negative 2a. And then x coordinate is a. So we're going to simplify this in the term of y equals to mx plus c. So y here will be equals to expand the right hand side here, we will get negative 2ax plus 2a squared. So as we move this point to the right hand side, it will become positive. So y will equal to gradient is negative 2ax. So this is our intercept. So as 2a squared minus a squared, it will equal to a squared plus 4. So from, this is our equation of our tangent where gradient is negative 2a and then y intercept is a squared plus 4. So for the first task, find the equation of the tangent in terms of a. We finish it. Then after this, we're going to find out what is our value of A when this area is minimum. So now we're going to build out our area formula. So when we want to build out our area formula for this triangle, we have to know what is the length of OA, what is the length of OB. So A will be the Y intercept. So B will be the X intercept. We find out our A intercept and Y intercept. For point A, when x equals to 0, our y will be equal to a squared plus 4. So, means that the length here, the height here is a squared plus 4. Then, when y equals to 0, 
substitute equals substitute into our equation of tangent here. When y equals to zero, we find out our x. So two a x will be equal to a square plus four. So our x will be divided by two a. A square plus four divided by two a. So the length of b here will be equal to a square plus four over two a. So in order to build out our area, it will be the formula of triangle one over two base time height. So area will be equal to one over two, where the base is a square plus four over two a, and our height is a square plus four. So we want to minimize this equation. We want to minimize this area. So we're going to expand it and we're going to differentiate and verify it. So first we're going to simplify our formula first. We're going to expand so that we can differentiate it easily. So as 1 over 2 with time inside, it will become a square plus 4 square over 4a. So we expand our quadratic here. a square, square again become 4, then this is 8a square, then plus 16 over 4a. So this area will be uh, 1 over 4a cubed, then 2 over uh, 8 divided 4 become 2 a plus 16 divided 4 become 4 a minus 1. So we expand this. When we expand it, it will be uh, front square, then a square, 2 a b, and then b square. Then we divide 1 by 1 with this 4 a. Hence, we go into differentiate a with respect to a, differentiate area with respect to this constant a here. So power move to the front, power minus 1. Then differentiate 2a, we get 2, power move to front, power minus 1. In order to make it minimum, so we will let this first derivative equal to 0. So 3 over 4a square plus 2 minus 4a negative 2, we will let it equal to 0 to find out this critical value a. So at 3... Simplify this. This is 4 over a square. So we're going to uh, time before a square so that we will eliminate the denominator part. So here will become 3 a 4. So this is our quadratic actually. We can factorize our quadratic where our x here is a square. So a square times 3a square, we get 3a power of 4. And then 16. 16 will go into 4 times 4, we'll get 16. So how to get 8? It will be uh, positive 12 minus 4. So here our factorization will be a square plus 4, then 3 a square minus 4. So we find out our a. So a square will equal to negative 4. So this one, when we have, we want to find a, we will be go, going to square root negative 4. So this will give us complex number. So this part of result will be invalid. We will reject it. Meanwhile, for this a square will be equal to 4. So a will be equal to 4 over 3. Then the square root will be positive negative square root of 4 over 3. So since our coordinate A here, our representative A here, A is in the first quadrant. A is a positive coordinate. When we get our value, we have two values here. We have to apply to our situation where A is a positive coordinate. So therefore, A is a, equals to the square root of 4 over 3 only. So we managed to find our A. So when it is minimum, so we have to verify this is a minimum so that we can get to the minimum area. 
So from the first derivative here, we're going to differentiate it again. We'll get e2a dA square. So power move to the front. Power minus 1. Differentiate constant, we get 0. This one power move to the front, become positive. Then power minus 1 become a negative 3. So we will try to substitute our critical value here. So as a is a square root of 4 over 3. When we press our calculator, it is equal to 8.66, which is greater than 0. So second derivative test will test about concavity. When you have positive, so means concavity will be upward. So we already met, verify this critical value is a minimum case. So lastly, we're going to find out our area. So lastly, after we get this A value, when area is minimal, we verify it is minimum, then we're going to find the minimal area of this. So the area minimal, we will substitute back our critical value into our area formula. So our area formula is this. 1 over 4 times A cubed plus 2 times A then plus 4 times A power of negative 1. So this one we can use our calculator to evaluate out our value here. Okay, so I have a calculating mistake here. So this second derivative test supposedly to give us nine point six point nine three. So it's positive, so it's minimum case. So finally we get to find this area, minimum area of the triangle.